All right, guys, this is part two of our Call of Duty Black Ops 2 detailed look at the latest leaks that came out uh, only yesterday. Again, this is rumored information, but a lot of it looks to be, uh, or at least a lot of it looks to make a lot of sense as far as uh, what they would do with Black Ops 2. So take it with a grain of salt, but we just want to have some discussions here. And like I said in the first video, uh, there's nothing copyright on this video, man. If you guys want to try and play that game and take it down, uh, you got to fight on your hands, boys. But if you ask me nicely, I might actually consider taking it down if you don't want this information out there. But I guess we will see. So let's get on to it. Now, this is an interesting one. What's been removed from the game? No mob or nuke! Yay! I can hear right now all the uh, all, all, some of these uh, YouTube guys are like, I can't, I can't make my epic mob nuke videos anymore. <laughs> ah, get over it. Uh, I, you know, and and we had we had some epic. I I didn't go for any mobs or whatever. Whatever. It's there are a dime a dozen on YouTube. The nuke stuff was pretty cool, and yeah, I admit it did create some uh, some pretty good opportunities for video creation uh, during Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, I'm not gonna cry over, man. It's uh, it's so non-objective based that it's not even funny unless you're playing like a free for all or a team deathmatch. Maybe they put it in. Maybe they can put it in just for free for all and, and team deathmatch, where it's not objective based. It's just get get the kills, right? Uh no last stand. Yeah, what about final stand? Final stand, last stand, last chance. Hopefully that covers the entire thing. That'd be cool. And no death streaks. Yes. No death streaks. No dead man's hand. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I, lo I love that uh, Twitter roundup I did where Bowling's like, well, if you're getting killed by dead man's hand, you're doing something wrong in these fucking small stupid maps that you guys built. Yeah, okay. We're all, we're all doing something wrong. It doesn't matter. He's gone. He's didn't he leave? Didn't he leave uh, Infinity War and Activision? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Uh, no flamethrower attachment. Whatever. Uh, I, yeah. It, I thought that was pretty, actually, pretty cool. I remember using it uh, or seeing it in World at War. I don't remember ever using it or seeing it on Black Ops, but whatever. I don't think that that one has necessarily that big of an impact, or why they would specifically label that one as being removed. Don't know. All right, map design, and this goes back to our previous point. Yay, map design and size. We'll be following Black Ops, not more Modern Warfare 3. Thank, thank the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I like the freaking Black Ops maps, man. They were well designed. Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> yeah, nice. So that's a, that's a good point. That's a good one for me. That's a keeper right there. You guys, do you guys agree? What do you think? What do you, let me know. All right, on to sniper rifles. I'm not actually sure what this first point means. Improved sniper sniper rifle usage? Yeah, I don't know what that means. You guys know? Oh, my God. The second point, no aim assist for any sniper rifle. Oh, my God! I can hear all the kids crying. Ah, no aim assist. I can't. It's so hard to quick scope. Oh, you've ruined quick scoping. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. I'm sorry, and I apologize for the language in this video, but, you know, hey, I get a little excited, all right? So honestly, blow it out your freaking ass. Freaking quickscoping. Oh, my God, running around like you have a freaking shotgun quickscoping people. Yeah, cry me a freaking river. Uh, <laughs> and the last point, I'm sorry. I apologize for my discre discre digression. Uh, the last one was less sway. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that's for that's like the hard scoping way. Maybe that'll be a perk. Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, this is all again. It's all rumor, right? Who knows? But uh, it all makes sense. Most of it makes sense anyway. So this next one in customization is kind of interesting. So no longer is the appearance of your character going to be based strictly on whatever perk one you choose. Uh, it's going to be based on a combination of all the perks that you select and the type of point streak being used. So basically four four different things that are going to impact the appearance of your character, which is kind of it is going to be kind of cool. Um I don't know I imagine it's going to be 
I, I, you know, if you know Black Ops, when you select your your perk one, it changes all their their outfit and everything. I'm um, sure maybe it'll attach certain equipment onto onto the outfit or whatever, or change the the headgear or, or something like that, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you know it well enough, you you'll actually be able to identify what players are running uh, as you play the game. So that that would be that's kind of interesting. Too bad they they couldn't allow you to to have more customization, like set it up, you know, have skins and have, I mean, they had that in, in Black Ops, they had face paint and stuff like that, but also custom clothes and stuff like that, you know, it could be unlocks, it could be like, you know, when you run uh, run some of the elite uh, lead operations, you can unlock different uh, clothing for your character. Yeah! The next uh, item here is uh, Hardcore, Hardcore. I hear, uh, I heard uh, Rubber Bowling X Infinity Ward guy likes it, Hardcore. <laughs> That's another uh, Twitter roundup reference, by the way. He likes hardcore modes. Just saying, just saying. Anyways, uh, larger emphasis on hardcore, hard, hard code, hardcore than ever before. No grenade launchers, no noob tubes. Yay! Only vehicle guide rocket launchers. That's cool. Uh, respawn timings are decreased for most modes. One bullet in the foot will no longer kill. A head or chest shot is usually required. Thank you. A person will now bleed out if severely injured. I mean. If you're not dead after being shot in hardcore, I'm pretty sure you're going to be severely injured, no? So you're going to bleed out pretty much every time? I, I don't know. I, I don't really play a lot of hardcore because I'm not that type of guy. I'm not into that hardcore hardcore stuff. But uh, anyways, just some uh, information for you hardcore players. Moving on to Perk System 2.0. Everybody likes this 2.0 thing. I think we started a trend with uh, GTPO, didn't we? No, we didn't start it. <laughs> uh, the Perk Pro system has been upgraded. There are now two options a perk can advance to, with both requiring different challenges to unlock. Um, so once you unlock them, you can select which one you, you want. You can't run both of them at the same time. So once you select it, that's your Perk Pro for that perk. Uh, the only way to change it is by prestiging. So you can only, again, you can only select it during, if you're just prestiging before you prestige the first time, you select a pro perk. The only way you can change it is to prestige and then unlock and select the other one. So an example here was given for a perk slot one perk called speed. Speed reduces the time taken to ADS. I don't friggin' need that. <laughs> I don't ADS. What are you talking about? Um... But uh, the, the two different pro versions available are Pro 1 swaps your weapons faster and Pro 2 throws equipment faster. So it's kind of like uh, Quick Draw or, or sort of a combination of, uh, of what Quick Draw offers. So again, uh, offering more complexity, more, more ability to, to configure your specific character and specific classes. Um, but again, it's just it seems to be adding a little more complexity, and and hey, that may be okay. We'll have to see once uh, once it releases. Combat training will be returning with quote unquote vast improvements. The difficulty is no longer going to be based on how long the ba the bots take to start shooting, which I think was the case in uh, Black Ops. Bots now have an advanced AI system, similar to the behavior seen in Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops Survival. What? Are you trying to freaking tell me that the, <laughs> the enemies in Spec Ops Survival have an advanced AI? Please, tell me it's not going to be just that, because, man, I posted videos on Spec Ops Survival, and these freaking dudes just sit there, man. They need to be smarter. They need to be smarter. Improve on the AI, because the AI from uh, Spec Ops is not good enough. Thank you. All right, the last item, and the one I'm most excited about, <laughs> zombies and mod tools. Zombies will be returning in Black Ops 2. Zombies campaign mode. Wow, that's freaking cool. Are you kidding me? And a full set of mod tools will be released following the release of all DLC and will include... Mapping tools, i.e. radiant mapping tools. Thank you. And if you believe this last one, <laughs> -lo 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 -lo, then I got a video clip that I can send to you. I'm going to post it um, right here. 
Uh, either there's a link in the description or annotation on the video, right? You can uh, link to that. And uh, if you believe me on this last one, because it has nothing to do with uh, anything that's been posted, I just made it all up in my head. Uh, yeah, click on the video link. Hey, guys, sorry about that last part there. Oh, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I got to throw a little comedy in there and, uh, you know, a little hype. It's like, you guys get all excited and it's like, yank. And, you know, it's not true. I just made it all up. That last part, just that last section. I uh, hope you clicked on the video link. It's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, so uh, that's it. And want to hear from you guys. What do you think? What do you like to see? What do you like about the stuff that I covered? What don't you like? What else do you think they should uh, be changing and or modifying for Black Ops 2? Want to hear from you. Spider Bite is out.